Hey guys, Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Young Justice issue 18, and this is a couple of the last issues we're going to get with um, um, issues doing with season one. So this is really the only source we get new stories with um, um, our favorite adventures for season one. I think again, there's only a couple of issues for uh, season one, maybe next one. Or the one after that has to do with the season two cast. So really, start picking up these issues for season one if you want to get new stories that. Um, that you wanted with season one and like say oh what happened in between this mission this mission this episode and this episode uh this is a great like point to pick this series up so definitely uh but let's talk about the cover first um really like the cover um we get to see gorilla grod which i thought was gonna be more with kid flash because gorilla grod is uh, a kid flash well not kid flash villain but a flash villain but um really it really has to do with the whole team in this issue which um we haven't seen in a while either a lot of the past issues have been like oh let artemis and robin and kid flash do something and then let superboy and um miss martian do something and then or let's just have an Artemis uh, issue, or let's just have, you know, Aqualad issue. Uh, so they've been really trying to separate the team, but now we finally have an issue where we got a season one story with the whole team. So uh, again, that's very rare, a new, you know, story. So if you want more season one stories, you know, you have to pick this up. But uh, let's talk about the story first and see what's going on, you know. Um, so like I said, really the whole team just goes out to try to fight Gorilla Grodd and his whole crew. Um, I'm not going to spoil the ending for you guys, but let's just say some of them are going to be controlled by Gorilla Grodd, and, um, there's only one person left that really could save the day, so that should be interesting to see how he or she saves the day, I almost spoiled it, but, um, how he or she saves the day. Um, but definitely it was an interesting issue. Um, again, it was a fun issue. That's what you get with Young Justice. It's not going to be like, oh, this big story. Oh my God, did that just happen? Especially because it's, um, just issues in between episodes, but they're all very fun stories and maybe explains a lot of things for, um, you know, stuff that you wouldn't have noticed in the episodes. Uh, like one thing is like, uh, something we do notice, and I love how it really does connect with the, um, the episodes that like just came out, even though this has to do with season one. Uh, like, when Dick and Artemis took a uh, picture on their first day, like, Dick kind of talks about that, saying, like, oh, yeah, I knew that, um, that was Artemis, but she didn't know that was me, and stuff like that, and then him looking at that picture in the last episode before the hiatus. So a lot of stuff does connect with the season two stuff, and that was one of my favorite scenes from, like, the whole series. Um, I, I, we actually haven't really gotten to see Artemis and Robin's friendship in a while, and I'm glad they kind of brought that up. We get to see a little Artemis and Kid Flash tension, you know, with, um, Kid Flash hitting on, uh, Miss Martian, and then Artemis giving her, um, giving him a dirty look. Um, we haven't seen that in a while also. So a lot of those season one stuff that we haven't seen in a while. And also, you know, Superboy getting a little jealous. So a lot of those things that we, we can't see in season two, and we could only see in season one, could only see in season one, um... I thought that was kind of cool, and I think that's why I really like this series and really like these issues right now is because it really is bringing back, like, this, um, nostalgia for uh, us for season one. It's, it's interesting. And then uh, this is a good adventure. Again, I'm glad that they have the whole team together again for this Gorilla Grodd um, issue. I think it's definitely going to be continued, so definitely the, I think the next issue will be a season one, and I'm guessing maybe season two after that. Um, uh, issue, but, I mean, I'm excited for the season two issues also to see, like, maybe they'll explain more about, um, what happened between season one and season two. Um, I know the video game is supposed to explain a lot about that also. Can't wait until that video game comes out. If you guys know, when is the release date for that? Because I don't know it. Um, I really want to pick that up to see, like, you know, the story. I think that's what a lot of people are interested in for that video game. It's not really, I mean, I think people are interested to in play as those characters, but really find out what happened between season one and season two. That really is what I'm looking forward to from that video game. But, um, yeah, pick this up. This was a good issue. Um, I thought it was, maybe there's some, you know, it wasn't like, oh, this blew my mind kind of issue, but it was a fun issue, you know? And I think, uh, that's what I love about picking up Young Justice every week. Get your favorite characters from, you know, that Young Justice universe um, in a comic book. And it really, the art is good and matches the TV show. That's why I always, you know, praise about this um, uh, comic book. And just pick this up. It's a good issue. Um, I give it four stars. It's it's a good issue, a solid issue, and it's fun. Really, all the Young Justice issues are fun, and, except, like, if you... It, it also depends, like, what character you really love. So, like, if you're not a big Aquaman fan, then you weren't going to love, you know, that centric Aquaman um, issue. But, like, with this, you have every character you could have loved in Season 1. So this is definitely going to be worth picking up, just because it's every character. Like, last issue, if you weren't a big Robin, Kid Flash, or Aqu um, 
Artemis fan, then you're not going to be so interested in the last issue. But this is, like, everybody, so you're going to be interested in this. Um, and Gorilla Grodd, he's just a really good villain. So pick this up. Four stars. Um, can't wait until the next issue. And just can't wait to get more Young Justice in, I think, September is coming back. I'm definitely need my Young Justice film. This is great for hiatus time. Get your Young Justice comic books. Um, really good for hiatus time. It's just very good to say what happened in between those episodes and just have a fun story with your favorite characters. So pick that up. I give it four stars. This is Comic Uno. Guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter um, for Comic Uno and the Rand Situations. And I'll just have news about those videos. So hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. And I say pick it up. Bye, guys.